898. I start first with the pigeons. Uh, yeah, now 20 years. Next year it will be 20 years. In the beginning, I'll do the um, the races, uh, small, small distance um, sprints. sprints. The uh, birds, how did you start? The birds. I sold my first pigeons. It's from Willy van Otten from Wevelgem. I bought ten, ten youngsters, and I bred from it. And I start a year uh, later to raise them, and that was the beginning. Best thing that I ever had was uh, 2003. It was a heavy, heavy year, hard races. Then I played the 350 middle distance. They said, and I've got one pigeon is always coming up, and uh, he was the first provincial S pigeon uh, we've in in East Flandern. It's we have 5,000, 6,000 man then uh, in the provincial it was the best of the young stars and it, i named them chipo he was a racer he was a racing yearling a year uh, old one i bred from him um, in the beginning only before the racing season i've got four young stars of it the first uh, bred from him was from 2004 Immediately, the youngster was six national as pigeon. In 2005, I bred uh, four youngsters. He was on the racing team. Two pigeons, two cocks, two nest brothers, crack and shield 98. Third national as pigeon, boat. And then the six national as pigeon, the shield 100 from 2004. Then Chipo was already racing. But he begins to fly before his father. And now I said, oh, I must do something. Then I have immediately stopped Chipu and put him on the breeding loft. Then the whole thing started. And now I'm so it's 80%. It's coming all from in the bloodlines of Chipu. The bloodlines of Chipu coupled with the Shiot line, with the Hautekit line. That was a, a good friend of mine, Michel Hautekit. Um, he was racing six, eight hundred kilometers. And I put the two lines together and they are exploding. And that's the whole thing. When did you start working with bears and how did you choose to work with bears? What do you think bears brought? When you start to feed the pigeons, you all, uh, my father has pigeons, you do the same food as your father. But when uh, these play small distance. When we go to 300 kilometers, I think oh, I must do something else. Yeah, because uh, you can play once, two, 300, it's not a problem. Two, it's not a problem. But when it go further and further and further, the pigeon will go after, after, after. You must do, I think we must do what more than the food that I use, the same as my father. I get to use the guys of, of uh, Bayers. I knew the system, uh, Enzyme Mix. Uh. This system, so the corn is uh, vaporized yep. with enzymes. If you see Elite Modern Enzyme Mix yep. system, Bayers Enzyme Mix, so uh, this corn is uh, treated <coughs> with yeah. enzymes. Yeah. Yeah. These enzymes, so uh, Benny told, he is just like some other Fanciers very very uh, keen on a healthy stomach, yeah. healthy intestines, and quick recuperation. So these so enzymes take care of the corn. Yeah. They break in the in the crop the uh, quicker the corn. So the pigeon receives more uh, quality, wonderful. more energy, more uh, 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 <coughs> feeding into itself, and so that's the reason. So we have good contact, good contact uh, with our uh, fanciers. So somebody who, if it's Germany or Romania or Belgium or Holland, if somebody uh, inform, telephones us, we try to help out. So we hear what uh, what is the problem? Chup, 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 do this, do that. So and of course, uh, Benny is one of uh, the lofts where we we can also come and say, Benny, hmm, we think we have good idea 
tried yes, it. So, that so you've you been see, trying that uh, product. Uh, there's some of the people where we know this is a good loft. He know mm -hmm. what he is giving. He can see the pigeon. If it's the product uh, judging, is it uh, more better or is it mm, not so good? So he, these are people who can uh, evaluate. Yes. Yes. So we have our top 10 uh, who is the basic. And if from that top 10 we have uh, 9 out of 10 who say mm, it's, good. it's, it's uh, better, then we go and uh, we go to the market. Yes. So, but Fair enough. We analyze our products, we have laboratory, we have uh, laboratory tests and then we go to live tests. So we try and, and look what is necessary here, what could be a plus, we develop and we test live. So and after the live tests and the results, so it's always, uh, it has to do with result and ob observation. Uh, it's, it's and then we... It's a whistle, it must be uh, working. Then we uh, go into the market. First tell that I use ev all my pigeons, I use every time this. It's uh, the best project of, of Bayer's. Herbazima. Herbazima, I use this product, I test the pH from my water and I bring it to 0.5. It's not much. Nearly 5. That's the way I use that product every day. And why I do it? It's because the pigeon, the stomach for the pigeon is the most important thing. Uh, I use that. Uh, the, when the food goes into the pigeon, there must be a good pH. Now I prepare some food. First I do it for the racing team when the pigeon's coming at home. I always use modern system Recup Enzy Mix. I prepare one kilo. So I've got one kilo. At last, Kone Hindebre on the food. One spoon. I mix them and then they go recovery on it. One spoon. Yeah. That we give on the pigeons when they are one hour at home and I try to do it the same day two times. Well, it depends on the flight. Two or three o'clock. At four o'clock they've got the food and in the evening I will go and give them the food again. Two times they've got one spoon. The second food we have from that system, Obal, we do it the same. I take one kilo and then I take the energy oil. You do the energy oil only in the beginning of the week because it uh, takes too long for the body to get everything up in energy. Not Tuesday and Wednesday because we have two or three times this and then I go immediately to that. This, you, you make do the first, the, the fourth of the fifth uh, times you get food to the pigeons must go with the energy on it. And on the energy, we do the condition. And now we use the bigger spoon. And they get one of these. It depends on the flight. When we think that the flight will do uh, harder, then we do less that one, that food, and more that food. So that then we can use this four times or five, five times. 
And at the end, we do it again, one kilo, prepare the food. It depends on the flight, heavy flight, yes or no. We get the energy. Then it goes with vitamins. One spoon. Of the food. And then they get the spoon. You see, much more. And that goes until the last day of basket. When you think that the food is not well enough, when it's a heavy, heavy flight, or if you go to the uh, font, uh, heavy font, I will do the system the last four, five times that I feed the pigeon. Uh, 30 minutes later, they get one little spoon of this. Now, that system I use when they separate feeding. Yeah. That's the system I do. There's two, two three times recap with recovery. Then I go to oval with energy and oil and condition. And at the end, four, five times, energy, vitamins, and everything. And when the heavy flight, then a little spoon, that. 30 minutes after I feed. After one hour, every time, all the food goes away. Then train them, the, tra the train two times. Two times, one hour. Uh, in, in the morning and in the evening. And the hands also two times. The hands, the system is the same for hands, but they are not uh, feet separate. There's, there's feet in one tray. The pH now of my water is at five. When the pigeons come at home, I've got one liter of that water for me now good. I use the electrolytes when they come at home. One small spoon on two liters. Something new product. I tested for two years. Spoon per liter. Two spoons. It's for the stomach, everything repaired to go to the next flight. Thus already I start to build up to the next flight. Because I think when uh, the stomach is from the pigeon is okay, they will go to, they can do something more. Electrolyte and that. The lactobacil. One day, one day and off. We do that. When they're two days at home, then I can prepare the next. The minerals goes in the water. That's a small spoon. So, one liter. But always that. And then the last three days, one spoon. Yes, everything's together with that. Amino, the last two days. Not using the minerals more. Just the last two days, that, and the new product, Lactobat. For the young stars, I use the same food, but I make a mix of the recovery and the obal. Each 50%. I'll do the Ken Koninginebre. And you see there's something wrong. They don't uh, have a good mast dropping. Use that. There's a spoon in it. They use one spoon, one kilo. But it's especially for the young stars. The young stars will get this food. For me, it's easy. 15 grams in the morning, each pigeon, and 20 gram in the evening, each pigeon. That's for me. Is that that's for in the evening for three pigeons, in the morning for four pigeons.
Now I say what I do uh, when I, the pigeon are molting. Molting is, is a very important period for, uh, to do everything right. Uh, I do a lot of uh, look oil on the food with protein. Now in the water, uh, three or four times a week, this one. It's a very good product. What I also do is get the condition that I use during the flight period with the low coal on the food. The food molting, it's a special food that they have. Also a little? A, a little enzymix for breeding season. 14 days before the breeding season started, you use this one. It's very good. E vito. For the cocks or everywhere? Everywhere, for the cocks and the hens. Here you see the team, the racing team and the breeding team. My best. On the top, Mr. Chippo. He's looking at all his children and grandchildren. I've got a full brother of him. He gave me the first national Limoges. That was my first national victory I have in 2009. He was a yearling then. First national Limoges. Fantasia, it's an inbreed grandchild, Chippo. First national tour, 2014 youngsters. And this year, Pepsi, grandchild Chippo. First national Chateau and best pigeon, 2016, over six national races. Between all the national winners, I've got a national ass pigeon, inbreed Chipo, come from a grandchild Chipo coupled on a daughter Chipo. First national ass pigeon on the national races, Youngstars.